Hola, buenos días. Hola, mucho gracias. Me and Kate have been learning about Spanish on Duolingo. And if any of you are learning a language on Duolingo, let us know down below. So this has come at a good time. This it's has got come at a very good time. Although we can't speak Spanish yet, we are learning. And so it's oh, cool yeah. to be trying Spanish food. I doubt we'll food. be able to pick up much, but yeah. yeah. Let us know if you're from Spain and what area you're from. Yeah. Do you know what? If you're from Spain, give us a really easy sentence, mm. um, like a glass of milk. And see if we can and reply we'll in see if Spanish. We can, yeah. That'd be cool. If we could reply in Spanish, Oh, be that'd really be cool. really cool. We are trying Spanish candy today because I recently went to Tenerife in Spain with a group of my friends and I decided I cannot be going there and not bring anything back. Although that's like I went to France and uh, I didn't bring anything yeah. back. Yeah, <laughs> and you've been to Lanzarote so many times. Yeah. And um, I picked up all of these goodies. Look how many things you've got. <laughs> my goodies, my goodies, every, every, my goodies, not shell goodies. <laughs> everything just looks so good. So I reckon we've probably got some actual, you know, real Spanish things, but then we've probably got some more touristy things because I picked up these Suggs in the airport and I said to the woman, are these popular? And she was like, popular to the people at the airport. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, I think it's the reason food. you need these sort of things at the airport because they're like chewy candy to be oh, on right. the plane. But like the guy in the shop told me to pick up this chocolate, tell me if it's popular. Oh, it's really thick. And also told me to pick up this brand. Did he tell you to? Terma. Did he tell you to pick up a pickup? No, he didn't actually. Oh, right. I just thought they looked good. And uh, I actually treated us to five bags of crisps. So should we get going with the crisps? Yes, please. Chips, should I say? Chips. Now I think you'll be super excited for this. Someone told me about this before, but I've not found them. Lay's gourmet. Mm. Now I reckon you must get this in America. Well, they sound fancy, maybe not don't this they? flavor, but um, what I really like about this is the fact that it's a black. Bag. Yeah. Like I don't think I've yeah. ever had. It's a. Oh, with a gold inside. Gold inside, very luxury. Oh, it's very like. Mmm, yellow in there. I feel like these are gonna be um. Like this is your classic. Less salted. no less than half the bagger. Oh yes. Yeah. Is, is in play. And these look really small, don't they? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, they look so colourful in there because of the gold. But they're actually quite pale. Mm. Much crunchier. Mm. It's funny though that they've done like a gourmet and it's just ready salted. Mm. I would have thought if you did gourmet, you'd do some kind of like fancy cheese. Well, they probably do have different flavours, but mm. I picked these up at the airport as well and they only had this. Mm. They are amazing. I don't often pick up a bag of ready salted, which is what we call it here in mm. England. But when you have them, they are great, aren't they? Mm. Great beer snack. Yeah. I didn't even have to say it. Delicious, what are you giving but them? But you know what, there, there are nine. But you know in the last American box we did, I think it was the last one, where it was from the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. where it was like Tim's, Tim's, and they were ready salted. I think they were better. All right. I'll go nine as well. We've had much nicer yeah. crisps there, haven't we? So we have four crisps remaining. Here we've got our bokka bits, which look like quavers. But yeah, they look puffy. So should we, and these are from Matt Utano, Matt Utano. <laughs> you don't want the one I've sniffed? <laughs> no. Mmm. That's good. Oh wow. For the packet they look like quavers. Cortezas de Tringo. They Trigo. almost look like Trigo. rice cakes, don't they? But yeah. they're not, they're much softer crunch, aren't they? Cortezas. I don't know what flavour that is. Mm. I just think it's like cheesy, isn't it? It's slightly cheesy. These are oh, nice. They got they're really light. Mm. Uh, they're like airy. Um, they are nice, but I'd probably only give them about a seven. I would give them an eight. I I do like them, but they're they're definitely not as good as some of the other crisps we've had, and they're not as good as flavours. No. So next are these frit ravish in chili. I don't know why I picked these up. Because they've also got a two chili. Oh, so these can be a bit spicy. These are medium, but I can't do medium. You're a korma. I'm a korma. She's a korma. These look like they've got lovely flavour on them. Like you can mm. see it. Smell like prawn cocktail. Oh, quite. That is peppery. Actually, that doesn't have much flavour. No. What's nice though is sometimes crisps are hot, but they they're just hot. Whereas you actually get a taste of There's pepper flavor. on here. Really nice peppery flavour. I wouldn't say they were medium. 
No, I'm no. not. My head's not blowing off. These compared to what are the ones These are the not. Mama's Eaters? Mama's, e Mama's Ema. These aren't hot at all. They've got a nice flavour actually. Mm. They're not a sweet chilli though, are they? No. I'd probably give those a 7. Yeah, I'd probably give them a I'd 7. I prefer these ones. I'd do a 7. I'd prefer those, I think. 7 really? and 12. Mm -hmm. Shall we have a look at these? Yeah. Tripliss? Tripliss? Tribliss? Tribli mm. Tribliss? Do you know Tribliss. what these are? These are bugles. Bugles. And so many Americans who commented that they do have bugles, because I needed. So many people commented saying, I used to put them on my fingers as um, fingernails. And I can't believe I didn't do that. Oh no, these are closed off, so I can't get my finger in there. But apparently loads of people when they were growing up used to put the bugles on their fingers, so their nails. They do have a good flavour though, don't they? Well, they're... they're like smoky. They're smoky. I like that. That's the thing, it's smoky. At first I was thinking, oh, it's quite artificial, but it's not mm. as the smoky, isn't it? Right, they're artificial as well. Yeah. Like they are smoking. I wish I could put my fingers in it so I could... I don't think they're as good as those other bugles we had. No. Oh, some more. Oh, good thing. Oh, they're tasty. I'll say they're higher than that, though. Eight. Hmm. Definitely no. Definitely an eight. They're probably on par with these, like, quaver mm. ones. I would say they almost taste a bit like um, all the other bugle texture, don't they? It's just a different flavour. Yeah. I think that's why they're better than these as well, because these are really thin crisps. Yeah. The Lay's ones have got oh, a really crunchy. good crunch to them. These are a bit thin. And then I love the bugles because they've got a good... Yeah, Lay's are definitely mm. better so far. And then the last chips we have are Munchitos Original. These also have the food thing on. But look... because they're by the same company. Do you not think they look like puffy as well? Yeah. Yeah, they're not normal crisps. Uh, yeah. So a lot of these aren't normal crisps that we would get. Mm. They're like, um, maybe we'll do a close up of these mm. on camera. They're like a puffed rice cake thing. They're almost a bit like pom bears. Mmm. Oh, they are like pom bears. Mm. If you've ever eaten pom bears, these are pom bears. Do you think these are slightly vinegar? I know they're only original, but. Oh, I see what you mean. There's like a little bit of a tang to them. Mm. These are really nice. Mm. I forget how good pom bears are. I should put those in the candy box, Tang shouldn't I? Tangtastic. These are really good. Mm. I'd say these are a nine as well. <laughs> Manchitos. These are so good. Original. I gave mine a nine. Them a nine. I think they're... Sorry, one sec. Yeah, on par with those, so it's an eight. Do you want to go for like chocolate next or like more snack biscuits? Snacky biscuits. Okay, next. I've got a few. Now you love the princes so much, I'm just much, gonna pick you? these up. <laughs> You loved the princes, didn't you? Yeah, I love princes. So what candy box was that? Belgium? That was Belgium, yeah. So we had a Belgian box. And they were in France. And they're in a tube like that, weren't they? And they were the biscuit yeah. with the milk chocolate cream. And speaking of pickup, we've got these, which I see quite a lot when we're on holiday. And I thought these looked really cool. I think they're like donut rings, but they're biscuits with a coated shell. Now it looks like white chocolate, but I feel like it could be maybe yogurty or something. I don't know. It depends how kind they're being. So, what do you want to go with first? I want to go Prince? with these. Me too. I thought this box was really cute. Let me know. Is this expensive? Everyone's just gonna. Oh, oh that's my cool. word! That's so cute. After saying we're trying to learn Spanish, people are just gonna rinse us for us. Yeah. Our accent. Yeah. These are two euros ten. Is that expensive? And these are by the brand Lou. I love Lou. Mm. Are you just trying without me now? I thought, wow. was, I thought we were just freestyling. Mmm, that is so good. Oh no. Uh, really milky. So it's a biscuit, which almost tastes stale, would you say? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Tastes a little stale. But sometimes that's kind of nice. Which is nice, yeah. <laughs> and then it's got like a little in-depth and it's got white chocolate in the middle. I mean, isn't that nice? Yeah. But it's like, it's like a, a white, white chocolate, chocolate cream. cream. And uh, I love that they are, come with them. Um, we are just twins. Ooh, that's like a solid piece oh, of chocolate wow. right in the middle there. So two biscuits either side. It's almost like literally a literally a piece of chocolate. It makes it's me not, want to melt it. It's not cream, is it? Yeah. Well, it can't be. It wow. just the way it's inserted there is like so square. Mm -hmm. It's like a slab of chocolate. Well for me, this is like a nine. I love this. And that's probably well, like I'm a seven. It, but do you not think the chocolate's got a slight aftertaste? Yeah, and I'm loving it. 
<laughs> mm. I do love this though. Mind if I open these up? I'm really enjoying my straw experience. That's good. Oh Ooh. wow, a tray of goodies. Oh, how cute are they? So they're like mini donuts, aren't they? Mm. I wonder if they're going to be biscuity or... Oh, they are, yeah. Mm. It's like a ring, chocolate ring biscuit with white chocolate on top. But it's funny, it's one of those biscuits where um, it's really crunchy. Mm. And you can really hear it. I think that's better than the princes, mm. you know. So I'm going to give that a nine as well as the pickups. These oh, great. also came in milk chocolate and dark chocolate, Did I believe. They? can tell that Kate picked these things because they've got like white chocolate feel to them. <laughs> I I actually quite like doing three at a time because mm. you almost have a comparison. For me, I think these are a 10. I still prefer these. I think these are a 10. So for me. The princes are a nine and those pickups are an eight. I feel like you've been a little bit unfair here. These ones I think can fit in this category and these look like Oreos. Yes, and that's one of the reasons. In white chocolate. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get these because I've still not tried those. You can get Oreos covered in, I think they call it like fudge. This is choco biscuits with a smooth cream flavored filling coated with white chocolate. And uh, Sounds good. I've wanted to try these for so long. So it'll be interesting to think what we think about these. And then maybe we can try and find them. Um, oh, how good. What was that? And maybe we can try find um, Oreo ones and do a taste test. These look so cool. Hmm. Not good. No, they're really good. Slightly weird taste of the white chocolate. Yeah, slightly, but I always think that about white chocolate. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That is really nice. Mm. That makes me really want to try the Oreo version now. Mm. Oh, that is good. And if you've tried the Oreo ones, do you prefer the milk chocolate ones or the white chocolate ones? I think I'd prefer the milk chocolate. All day, every day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. Although what brand- Even on leap years. What brand of chocolate would be covering it though? Because if it's Hershey's. It's not Hershey's. If it's Hershey's. I doubt it's Hershey's. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go to chocolate bars now? I want to go to chocolate town. Now the guy in the shop, when I said, I was trying to mm. communicate with him, I said all oh, popular chocolate. this is chocolate. before you started learning Spanish. Before I started. <laughs> and he pointed out this chocolate bar. So is he right? Or is he having a laugh with you? Because you're a tourist. This is so heavy. It's so thick. Is this Nestle I one just one chocolate bar? This Nestle is one chocolate bar and it's amazing. Why is it so big? And this is, Strawberry cheesecake. I saw this in the little supermarket near to where we were staying. Oh, really? And I thought I had to try this. And then this is Nestle Extra Fino, Extra... Fine. Fine. And this... For a second there, I thought you were going to say milk. No, because milk know. is um, leche. Leche, yeah. Ooh, very thin. Very thin. Is that what it means by Extra Fino? Extra thin? Maybe. Extra fine, maybe? Whoa! It doesn't even snap, it it's just kind of like... It's soft, isn't it's it? It's a soft chocolate. It is quite warm here today, but it's a soft, must be a soft chocolate. Must be soft. How's this? Especially because it's cream. How, How does, does it survive? stay in Spain? Yeah. Nestle, though, make a lot of chocolate bars, mm. but they don't often just make pure chocolate bars, do they? No. Right, you wouldn't get... There's always with something. Mm. Considering that's like a creamy centre, I really like that. Mm. Mm. I do quite like Nestle, mm. but over here in the UK, because Cadbury's in Galaxy have pushed so much, mm. I feel like Nestle gets put under in yeah. the third. That's really nice. That is really nice. Nice creamy centre. Let's go chunky. No, let's, let's go, go chunky, chunky in ladies. The oh it no, is. is this dark chocolate? It's heavy. Ooh. Whoa. So it comes in like slabs. Like. I've it's never long, seen a chocolate bar like this before. Long bars. It feels almost plastic. You know, sometimes when you touch some... Well, it almost looks like it's got moisture on the surface, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, no, sometimes it when you touch chocolate, it feels quite plasticky. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, hold that. I won't be able hold to... Hold that. Oh, yeah. I... It's like, um, I'm at McCrati. Yeah! Oh, oh, my word. <laughs> oh, that really hurts. solid. <laughs> I, you can't do that, I don't think. It's like that really powdery chocolate. Yeah. Mmm, like sugary almost. 
Maybe he thought it's I said, sweet, what's it? your least popular? <laughs> Oh, powdery and sweet. Because I don't think it's um, it didn't melt and then go solid again. Mm. It's like Alex is saying, it's very powdery. And I feel really like if I sweet. grated it, it would turn into a powder. I find that really sweet. It's really sweet. Uh, considering it's dark, mm. I think that's dark chocolate. Did we rate that by the way? That no, last not, one. I didn't know if we were uh, going. Okay. Mm. All right, let's hope this is better. Oh, feel really the chunks like of this. Is there literally strawberry? Yeah. It looks like that. I oh, think. this is strawberry cheesecake. cheesecake. It says explosion de. This so was two euros ninety five. That's pretty expensive. Explosion of what cheesecake, strawberry and cheesecake. Yeah, that's because you're getting a chocolate bar and a cheesecake in here, Kate. That's why. Literally. God, the Nestle oh, no chocolate. Way. Oh, it smells. Oh, so... Oh wow! Look in the middle. It really does mm. kind of look like the photo. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Do you like fruit and chocolate? Not usually, no. It's actually like jam in there. Mm. That's really good. You've got none of those bits that are in the photo though. Oh, you do there. The more I eat it, the more mm. I think it does taste like cheesecake. Because the other day you brought home a Kit Kat. Me. What was New it? New York cheesecake. New York cheesecake. Oh, and there was that lemon drizzle mm. cake Kit Kat. Neither of them tasted like that. Look, that actually tastes like strawberry cheesecake. Mm. That's so good. I don't know how they've managed to keep that jam in there. Oh, it's so good. We're going through Instagram this morning. Look on someone's um, story, who I believe is in Australia, and they had a bar of Cadbury's, and it was Cadbury's kettle chips. So there's crisps inside the chocolate, and they're sea salt flavoured. Amazing. How amazing must that be? Okay, so that chocolate I'm giving about a four. Yeah, that's a three. Um, the Nestle, I'm giving for this video a ten. But I'm going to give it a nine. And then um, the other one, I'll probably only give that a seven, mm. actually. Should we go for sweets? Freshen yeah. it up a bit? Freshen it up a bit with some bananas. Bananas! Trolley, or tr how do you say that? Trolley, I would say. Trolley. Trolley candy bananas. Now, something Trolley like that holly. is like what I want from a sweet. Something like this is... Not what you want from a sweet. going to make me feel sick. And they look like they've got Sugus. a fine sugar on it. Sin gluten con zumo de fruta concentratiado. Smell the banana on that. It does smell good actually, I have to say. Oi! So a bunch of bananas. Oh, they look perfect. Imagine going to your local shop and getting a bunch of bananas <laughs> like that. <laughs> wow. They are good, aren't they? Really good. Really captured the essence of banana. Tastes like banana, looks like a banana. Love the sugar on the outside. Mm. Excellent. Nine. It's like a seven for me. Mm -hmm. Don't miss them. Okay, what flavours have we got? All of them. Pineapple, cherry, lemon, orange, strawberry. Mm. What's a blue one then? Read the ones again. Blue Pineapple, cherry, lemon, orange, strawberry. Oh, orange. Well, it really makes me feel like my teeth are going to grind. Mm. Oh, I hate that. Mm. These are quite chewy, aren't they? Mm. So these are sug Suggus. Suggus. I don't think these are that popular in Spain. Mm. I think these are more of a get the tourists at the airport. Mm. Oh, no. They're not that chewy. But I know what you no, mean about the grind. No, they make me think I'm going to like thing in my teeth. Them. Yeah. Mmm. That, that's a big. I have pineapple. Nice for me. I'm going to give those a five. I really don't like them. These are nice. I just don't think the, the flavour's very good. What flavour do you have? Strawberry. They're really nice. Really? I really like the texture. I'm trying to think what they're like. But they're... Chew it. No, not at all. Chew it's really chewy. Your teeth can go through these, and like Starburst. you say, sometimes you're more like Starburst. Really nice, like Starburst, but more natural flavours. Mm. I'm going seven. What's that milk of things? We've got three milk of things. Three milk of things I've never seen before. You know, we have a bear, Barney, Barney bear. Barney bear. I think this is a milk version, ah. cake and chop. You know, you can now get Nutella Bready. I don't know about in your country, but definitely in the, in the UK, we can get mil uh, Nutella Bready. This looks like a Milka version. And then, a Milka Kit Kat, but this is called Leo. 
It looks like a Kit Kat. Oh, that's cool. But actually, it looks like there's a cream milk. Cream filling in cream there. Cream fill. What I are we going for first? That. This one, yeah. What does it say there? Baritis. Baritas. Yeah. I think this is going to be like a Nutella Breddy, not that I've had a Nutella Breddy. Yeah, so how are you going to know what that's like? I don't know. Right. Just break that in half. Yeah. It's like chocolate on the bottom. Oh my word, it's like a cream. And then like a chocolate cream in the yeah, middle. Yeah, chocolate and on then the like bottom. a biscuit around the outside. <laughs> Much softer than it feels. Mm. This is like a Barney. You're right. So it comes in a tray. It comes How in a tray. It's like a sponge. <laughs> you with were chocolate chips the in. A sponge with chocolate chips, but the sponge looks dry, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. It kind of is, but I like it. I don't think it's dry. You know what that tastes like? A Barney. Mm -mm. We have a supermarket here in the UK called Sainsbury's, yeah. and you can get like these plastic tubs of like freshly baked things, and you get mini muffins. Oh, they are like these. That. Taste like the mini muffins. Mm. Sponge with chocolate, and then look in the middle. There's obviously a cream. Had we got the thing that is, yet? you can't go wrong with a bit of sponge and chocolate, can you? Here we go for a bit of milk, uh, Leo. Hold on, you're a Leo. No, I'm not. Oh, Are Virgo. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. Mmm. I love the crunchiness of that wafer. It's so light. Yeah, it looks light as well. Mm. And yeah, that kind of creamy. I'm going to say this thing was the best out of those. No, not for me. For me, that's like a nine. For me, that's a five. This is then like an eight. That is like an eight and a half for me. I really enjoyed and this. this. Is Probably a seven. That's like a six to me. But some people absolutely love Kit Kats. Mm. Like you love Kit Kats, oh, but I'm I not really Kit the Kat. biggest fan. My favourite Kit, Kit, Kit Kat type than of that. thing I've ever had is mm. the Kif Kaf from Israel. Kif Kaf. That's delicious. Mm. Okay, now we've only got three things Muy left. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. We've got two wafer style things, which are the same brand, but one's dark and one's milk, I believe. And then we've got Tobitos, which is like wafer curl things. What are they called? Yeah, those like wafer sticks that you have that like you with kind the coffee. Of get, yeah. Cheese. With an what ice are they cream. called? Did this fruta del chocolate 70% cacao. Did you know you get four bars in here? You get three in this one. Oh, really? You get four in that one? Yeah. Oh, really? yeah look, the bag's definitely missing one, isn't it? But yeah. It says three. And a bit of this. Oh, here's wafer. I don't know. Ooh, I jump know in on that. Jump in. Why does this one say zero? Oh, smell that. That smells like coconut. Oh, it does, yeah. Oh, dear. No, there is coconut in there. Mm. That kind of kills it for me. I like coconut, but in there, I just... It smells like coconut oil. I just don't want coconut in that, you know. Mm. No, actually, that co considering I don't like coconut that much, mm. it's not bad. Not really dark. It's like midnight. Mm. It's like I've woken up in the middle of the night. <laughs> I need a snack. That is so bitter. Really bitter, and I like that. Wafer and bitter. It's zero added sugar. That's why it's called zero. Oh my god, because there's no sugar mm. in it. No wonder it doesn't taste sweet at all. Yeah, but that's what I love. It's like, I love dark chocolate. I would give this a three. I just, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna give it a 10 because I do love the things that are like really sweet and really, mm -hmm. but I, that's the kind of thing I would generally eat. Because how often do you pick up a Mars bar? Yeah. You would pick up something like so that. So for me, this is probably like a nine. It's not like a 10, but it's a nine. And then for me, considering this is coconut, I would say, would I give that a three? Yeah. I'll give these a five. If that wasn't coconut, it would have been higher, but it's like a five for me. Mm. It just didn't need to be coconut. It just killed it, it for me. It did not need to be Ooh. coconut at all. I wonder if that's lo got low sugar in as well. And then finally, we got Mel's A Sweet Life. A Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Who used to watch that? Me. You see how liquid it looks there? Yeah. It actually is, look. Oh my word, and is look it hard at the end? how liquid that is. To like keep it in? Yeah. This is gonna be perfect with a cup of tea. Oh yeah. Oh. Cut off both ends and try to do a Tim Tam. Mm. This is delicious. The wafer's really nice. The chocolate's mm. not bad at all, is it? I love the touch that that's liquid in there. I don't know how that's It so would've liquid. been really good if it had been solid all the way through. Yes. With the fact that it's, it's liquid. It's liquid. Mm. That's not the kind of thing I would buy. If I was at a restaurant and they had them, or you know, like at Christmas you have things like this. Yeah. 
I really enjoy them. Mm. Is that the last thing? Yeah. Oh, damn. I'm so glad we ended on that rather than the wafers. What a pile of deliciousness. What's your favourite thing in the end? Oh, the strawberry cheesecake. Yep, and I would actually say those lays were amazing. And like I, I was really saying like when bananas. I scored the strawberry cheesecake, is I love chocolate things so much more than like fruity chocolate things that I would probably prefer to have these than that Nestle strawberry cheesecake. Really? Because mm, I love chocolate they so much. They are delicious actually. I know these are just uh, a wafer snack, but I'd probably give these a 10, you know. Really? Oh, I didn't even rate that. I'd say they're a nine. Plus they're only a euro. Oh, could you imagine if um, Capri did a version of that? Even though there was loads of stuff there, I don't feel like, you know, we got through that quite quickly, didn't mm. we? Let me know in the comments down below, if you're from Spain, how did I do with picking out things? Have I just gone completely touristy and picked like the tourist things? Or have I put um, some local things? Yeah. On well, the that's table? what's hard when you go to a place and you try yeah. to pick the things. It's like when I went to France, I was looking in the supermarket and I was just like, yeah, well, I don't so know hard. what people would eat. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed that, yeah, did you? I really enjoyed that. <laughs> and to say thank you, I'm going to give myself a British candy box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. You're just going to pop in there and fill up a box. <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that would be funny. That was absolutely delicious. I mm. really enjoyed that one. If you want to try any of our British candy, don't forget to check down in the description box below or we'll leave a little link up there yeah. and you can go check out what we have on our store. We don't just have a British candy box anymore, do we? No, we also have a snack box. We have a party box so check out it will either be halloween or christmas by the time this video goes yeah up. insert the correct phrase now christmas, christmas. <laughs> oh that was get good. your box now did you enjoy that yeah i enjoyed that i haven't had many snacks from spain before so that no. was really cool to no, that's true actually Did i don't think it? i have really i really enjoyed mm. that i thought it was absolutely delicious i hope you guys enjoyed it too and we'll see you very soon bye guys see ya